So you're thinking of moving to Nashville, Tennessee, but don't necessarily want to live in downtown Nashville. That's right, you're more of a suburb type person. Well, in this video, we're going to cover the top five most popular suburbs in the Nashville area right now. We have people moving here from all over. California, Idaho, New York, Washington State, Illinois, you name it. Everyone wants to be in Nashville and they're trying to get a good feel for what area is actually gonna fit them best. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna give you my top pros and cons of each area, and then we're also gonna jump in the car and I'm gonna kinda of show you around so you can get a feel for yourself. So let's jump right into it. I'm Brandon John. My name is Caleb Lovejoy. I'm Sam Coleman Answer with the Coleman Answer Group. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Nashville and the surrounding areas, then you're going to want to click that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn the notification bell on so you stay in the know of all things happening here in Middle Tennessee. My name is Brandon Johns, and the team and I get texts, calls, DMs every day of people just like you looking to make their move to Nashville. So whether you're looking to move tomorrow or in the next 90 days, send us a text, give us a call, shoot us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call in the description below, and we'd be happy to help you. So as we mentioned, we're covering the top five suburbs or really the most popular suburbs in the Nashville area right now. So let's just jump right into it. Number five is Mount Juliet. So Mount Juliet is actually east of Nashville. And as I zoom in here, you can see that, you know, there's Hermitage, Donaldson, and this is the East Nashville area. Um, that's in between Mount Juliet and downtown Nashville and the heart of Broadway and everything like that. So um, Mount Juliet is actually um, a pretty cool uh, suburb because you're actually located in between Old Hickory Lake right here and Percy Priest. So that's really cool because if you love, you know, water sports, boating, fishing, you're right in between both of them. So you can go to Percy Priest on Saturday and Old Hickory on Sunday. So that's really cool in terms of if that's what you're kind of looking for is the outdoor um, things to do like that. Um, but then also Mount Juliet is, you know, it has everything that a typical suburb would have. Um, you're gonna, like up here in the north of Mount Juliet right here is, you know, public supermarket, you've got Kroger, if you zoom in a little bit more, there's, you know, lots of restaurants, um, all the essentials that you would need here. And then as you come down here, there's some more shopping centers and strip malls down here as well. Um, so really you can't go wrong. You've got all that you would possibly need um, just a few minutes of wherever you would live in Mount Juliet. Um, now in terms of getting to downtown Nashville in the airport, let's just check that out right here. BNA, we've got the airport. So you're actually only 16 minutes away, just over 12 miles to the airport. So that's great. Um, now in terms of getting right to the heart, let's go Broadway when you want to go out on a Saturday night, um, that's 26 minutes. So just under 20 miles away, depending on where you are in Mount Juliet. Um, so great location. This is actually going to be one of the closest uh, tied with another one of the suburbs um, on the list. So great locations, East Nashville, and you just have both those lakes right there as well. So lots to do uh, in terms of outdoor activities but you have all the other essentials, the restaurants, the shopping, and now in terms of the homes in the area, there's actually been quite a few new construction homes, some developers coming in here to Mount Julia to continue to build and develop the area. Um, so that's exciting. So as you can see, this is actually a neighborhood in Mount Julia. So, so this is what you would kind of expect on the style of home. Um, but now in terms of home prices, for the average sale price, you're looking at about $616,000 last year and $560,000 this year so it's been a year it's august 2022 as i'm saying this recording this video so it's actually gone down 10 percent so part of that is just due to um, the supply right so there's like i said there's some, some developers coming in there's lots of new construction homes in mount juliet so that's exciting um, and there's just a new construction available so that's something to keep in mind you're looking at about five hundred sixty thousand dollars average home price uh, for mount juliet now before we jump into number four keep in mind we're gonna have a more in-depth video where we're gonna drive you through more of the city and the neighborhood so you can get an even better feel of what mount juliet and these other suburbs are like so make sure you check those videos out on our channel um, so be looking out for those now let's jump into number four thompson station okay thompson station is south of nashville you're really close to i-65 and you're nestled in between franklin and spring hill 
Now, the good thing about Thompson Station is there's actually not that many people. It's actually just, there's under 10,000 people in the city, but you are just in a great location because you have great neighborhoods with larger lots. You've got some tight neighborhoods and subdivisions in Thompson Station, but there's a lot of these homes that aren't in neighborhoods in Thompson Station that have well over an acre lot, so lots of privacy, but you're just minutes away from Franklin or Spring Hill, so you've got all the shopping that you would want. Now, in terms of the drive to the airport um, and downtown Nashville, you're looking at about a 40 minute drive to the airport, it's 40 minutes here, just under 35 miles. Um, but then Broadway, we're looking at about 34 minutes. So to get downtown Nashville, you're under 40 minutes, which isn't a bad drive. You're going right up I-65. And if it's not rush hour, it's a pretty, pretty decent drive. Um, so it's not too crazy. Um, rush hour is a different beast though. That's, we'll, we'll, we'll just save that for a different video. Um, now, in terms of the shopping, like I said, Thompson Station is a smaller little area, but it's like nestled between Franklin and Spring Hill. Um, and you'll see that there's some nice little parks like Preservation Park, um, it's right in the middle of it. And that's some great hiking trails there. Um, and then also you'll see Independence High School here and Kroger right down here. So technically those are in Thompson Station, the city limits. And it's only like literally a nine minute drive from Independence to Kroger right here. So just right down Columbia Pike. And so that's just something to keep in mind because it's just, just, just kind of to give you a scale of like how big Thompson Station actually is. Now, if you come over here to the west in this area, this is when it's gonna be those larger lots, not really neighborhoods, just you know some farm homes, some ranch houses, some really awesome lots um, to go check out there. So if you are interested in that country living, that's gonna be here for you. So Thompson Station would be a great place to check out for you. Um, Cause you know, you get that full country living, you know, wooded privacy experience, but you can get right up the road to 840, which then you take the I-65 and go right north. And there is some new construction neighborhoods actually popping up here in Thompson Station. And we have some property tours on our other channel where we go into these homes, these new construction homes, so you can get a real feel for what these homes are like in these newer developments in Thompson Station. So check out those videos most likely linked in the description, or just check them out on our channel, Coleman Dancer. Now let's move right on down the road to number three, Spring Hill, Tennessee. And I actually grew up in Spring Hill. I was actually born in Thompson Station, but my main childhood was in Spring Hill. Um, on the Williamson County side, I actually went to Summit High School. So like I said before, I actually don't know if I said it before, Thompson Station, Spring Hill, Franklin, Brentwood, all these areas are in Williamson County. Um, which has actually the top school district in the state of Tennessee. And also it ranks very high um, in the country as well. So that's a great thing to keep in mind if you have kids and you're looking to move to the area and you want them, into, want them to be in a really good school district. So Williamson County Schools, always a plus. Um, I actually grew up here, so I'm gonna try not to be biased here, Spring Hill, but it is an up and coming, growing um, city. It's got about 40,000, a little over 40,000 people um, in the area and there's some cool developments actually happening as, happening as well. Now Spring Hill leaks over into Murray County so if you just go in there and you search you know for homes and you're looking for homes in Spring Hill and you need to keep in mind that homes in Spring Hill can be in Murray County so if you are looking for your kids for schools and you want to be in Williamson County schools, make sure you have that extra criteria, Spring Hill in Williamson County. That's just a quick tip. This is going to be not like Thompson Station where it's those larger lots and you know some neighborhoods that have like decent sized lots. This is going to be more of a tight subdivision feel. Um, if you zoom on in here, just getting on, these are all um, neighborhood areas right here. So really tight neighborhoods, but really great neighborhoods um, to check out when you're visiting and potentially moving to Nashville. So in terms of shopping, you're gonna have, this is Main Street. As you can see, there's a Kroger right here, technically in Thompson Station, but it's really just a few minutes down the road for anywhere that you would live here in the Williams County of Spring Hill. Um, you've got Walmart, you've got all the shopping centers down Main Street. You come on down to the crossings, and this is where you're going to see the Target, Kohl's, you know, Moe's, the movie theater, Cracker Barrel, um, all the different restaurants, Chili's, um, there's a new Five Guys that just came in. Um, you got the Chick-fil-A, the Starbucks, all of that um, is all here in Spring Hill. So you can't really go wrong with that kind of shopping. There isn't some large shopping mall in Spring Hill. You're gonna have to go to Franklin and Cool Springs area for that. 
but all the essentials and a few of the, you know the bigger box stores like the targets etc Publix, grocery store etc is all here in spring hill now in terms of the commute you're looking at about a 40 minute drive similar to thompson station as you i showed you before it's thompson station is literally just right here so um, it's not too big of a difference in terms of the commute to downtown nashville or the airport but an exciting development that's actually in currently happening right now is here is summit high school this is a whole property here and this is going to be a brand new mixed use development it's going to be called june lake and there's going to be residential commercial space and just a huge development walking trails and then they're actually going to put in an i-65 new interchange right here so you're going to be able to get right onto the interstate right here previously and what you currently have to do right now is you have to drive up here to this 840 and then get on to i-65 so this is going to cut the commute down drastically uh, and it's going to help with just flow of traffic so that's really exciting but in terms of just all the single family homes and townhomes and there's gonna be a grocery store here um, and shopping and restaurants all in this area that's just gonna add a whole nother um, boost to spring hill and why it's one of the top suburbs on the list now before we get out of spring hill um, let's talk about the home prices so the average home price in spring hill was actually five hundred and forty thousand dollars this time last year and it's actually six hundred thousand this year and that's an eleven percent increase so you can get into a home here in spring hill for around that six hundred thousand mark it is a good portion of homes that are just under a million dollars this newer construction or larger homes in these neighborhoods but six hundred thousand is what you can get into a home right now average um, in the spring hill area and we actually just did a property tour on one of the newer developments which is right here if i zoom in we're going to be right by spring station middle school and summit high school um, the development's right here it's wilkerson place it's going to have walking trails to both schools and those are starting around the 700,000 mark, brand new construction. Check out that tour. You'll be able to see what exactly that construction is like. And they're actually coming out with a new phase as well. So if you're really interested, reach out to us and we'll be able to actually get you early in on the process of the new construction so you can start picking out, you know, some of the custom parts of the home before they fully finish it. So that's exciting. So make sure you just contact us if you're interested in that. So number two is Franklin, Tennessee. This is north of Thompson Station, still in Williamson County. And you're getting a little bit closer to Nashville. Um, this is a lot bigger city. So you're gonna have that mix between Thompson Station, which is larger lots, you know, some of that area out in the country over here in the west, a little bit down here in the south as well, southeast. Um, so you're gonna have those larger lots available, but also those tight subdivisions here as well, because we're coming up on 90,000 people here in Franklin, Tennessee. And if you don't know anything about Franklin, um, there's lots of videos that we have walking downtown Franklin, historic downtown Franklin, what people like to call it, um, but it's just a really cool place. It's a really cute Main Street um, vibe. There's lots of cool shops. I'm zooming in here right in on downtown Franklin. So this is the Main Street. People like to go here on the weekends, you know, walk around, you know, it's a nice summer or fall or spring day and just check out the shops, get some ice cream, enjoy the weather and, you know, just kind of check it out. So. Downtown Franklin is a really cool vibe. We also have a video on the factory at Franklin. So that's gonna be right here. And this is the factory. So I'm gonna zoom out just so you guys can see right next to the park at Harlandsdale. Um, the factory is really cool. There's lots of boutique shops, restaurants in there, um, ice cream shops. You can go paint in there, do pottery. There's some art galleries, just really cool things in the factory. So that's kind of the charmy, part of downtown Franklin. Um, but then you also have the park here, so that's great, right up next to the Harpeth River. So you can get kayaking in, you can go walking, you can go fishing in the pond, you can go walking downtown Franklin. And then you come on over here to Jim Warren Park. So this is great for kids because if you're in Franklin, you're right next to where they're most likely doing a lot of their sports. Now Spring Hill has like, you know, ball fields as well, but these are some ball fields that a lot of people come to, baseball, soccer, football. Um, so most likely if you have kids and they're gonna be in some rec leagues or travel leagues, they're gonna be playing here. Um, and then also there's golf courses. You've got you know, the Franklin Bridge Golf Club here. That's a nice course to play out. That's public. Then you also have West Haven over here. Now West Haven is almost like, I'm, I was talking about that June Lake in Spring Hill. They're doing that development uh, where there's like the community with the, the um, restaurants and then the grocery store and kind of like trying to keep all of it in 
one community, all the essentials. West Haven has that. So West Haven actually has its own Kroger here. If you don't know about West Haven, um, you should check that out. We have videos um, covering West Haven and a full neighborhood tour there because that's in a community in itself. You've got doctor's offices, Kroger, you've got restaurants, you've got a whole lake um, that you can go fish at, walking trails all over and lots of homes. There's even the elementary school right here, as you can see in the community as well. So West Haven is a private course, um, but there's some really beautiful homes there and we have lots of property tours in West Haven. So check those out as well. And those will be in the description, obviously. So lots of things in Franklin. Now we didn't even talk about Cool Springs because that's a lot of the shopping here in Franklin. And this is just northeast-ish, a little bit from downtown Franklin. You've got everything. And I mean everything that you could need. Academy Sports, there's Dick's Sporting Goods, there's Cool Springs Galleria, which is the mall. This is the whole mall area right here. Um, and so that's got like the H&M's, that's got Altered State, it's got Pottery Barn, it's got the Apple Store, um, Dillard's obviously, and all those essential things that you would think of in a mall. And it's a really nice mall to go to. Um, you've also got, you know, Best Buy, all the other stores that you could think of that you would need. There's Trader Joe's, Whole Foods is in the area right here. And so Cool Springs is like that business district You'll see if you're driving down I-65, this is all just, there's Nissan here, Mr. Bishi, um, Schneider Electric, some lots of big buildings here in Cool Springs. So you're either, if you're moving here, you're probably gonna a job in Nashville or Cool Springs. So obviously keep that in mind. If you're gonna be commuting to Nashville, maybe you wanna be a closer suburb there, but if you're in Cool Springs, the commute from Spring Hill or Thompson Station isn't bad at all going to just Cool Springs. So that's something to just keep in mind. But Franklin really has all that you could think of. It's got the walking trails, good parks, um, downtown Franklin, which is more boutique shopping, factory, cool springs, and a variety of different types of homes and lots, depending on the style of living you wanna find. So in terms of the home prices in Franklin, it was $930,000 average sales price last year and a million sixty this year, which is a 14% increase in the average home price. So that is quite a bit higher um, than Spring Hill or Thompson Station, but you are just getting closer to Nashville. You're in that you know, business district of Cool Springs, the downtown Franklin area, and obviously Williamson County Schools. So those are the prices you're gonna expect when potentially moving to Franklin, Tennessee. Now moving on up to number one, we have Brentwood, Tennessee. Now Brentwood is just north of Franklin and it's actually right on the north side of Williamson County. So Brentwood actually crosses over into Davidson County as well, but we're just looking at Brentwood um, today as the number one suburb because you're nestled in a great location. Your Franklin is right up under you know Brentwood, so you've got the Cool Springs essentially there. Um, that's all the business district, all the shopping, but you also have more stores up here north of Brentwood which is REI, Kroger, um, you know, also you know, Chewy's, you've got, there's a Smoothie King in there, Chick-fil-A, I, like, I like the Smoothie King a lot. Um, and you've got just like all those, the shopping right there, but then you also have beautiful, beautiful lots. Brentwood is known for its mansions. Um, these are just some beautiful homes. Brentwood also has some great parks. Um, you've got Crockett Park and you've got Smith Park here tons of walking trails, paved trails, also not paved trails. So there's some rugged trails actually in Smith Park. Um, so depending on the difficulty that you like, some really great hiking in Brentwood. And then also you've got the Country Club, you've got Governor's Club, which is a beautiful golf course, private obviously, with some amazing homes in there. Um, there's Ravenwood High School kind of nestled in between these parks, which is a really cool location. And then if you come on over here, you've got Brentwood Country Club. That's nestled right by Brentwood High School. There's Brentwood Academy in the area. Um, so the private schools there are really nice as well. So Brentwood really has it all. There's some huge homes. If you're into luxury living and that just that lifestyle in general, you're gonna wanna check out Brentwood as one of the top suburbs for you to live in when moving to Nashville, Tennessee. And we actually just did a beautiful property tour in Brentwood. It was a brand new construction, $3.5 million home. And it was just gorgeous. You can actually check that video out. I highly recommend you check that video out um, on our Coleman Dancer channel. It'll be in the links 
um, in the description below. But before we jump into home prices and what you're gonna need to expect if you're wanting to live in Brentwood, let me just show you, you're a little bit closer. Like I said, it's better location. Um, let's just go straight to BNA and let's see, it's only 22 minutes to the airport, so great time there. And then Broadway, going to downtown for a Predators game or just to hit the strip, you're at about 16 minutes. So great location and um, you really just can't beat it. So in terms of home prices and what you're gonna have to expect here in Brentwood, you're looking at a $1.4 million average sales price last year and a $1.6 million average sales price this year in Brentwood. That is a 17% increase. So like I said, a lot bigger homes, really beautiful homes on great lots and also just prime location. That's what you're gonna have to expect if you're looking for living in Brentwood, Tennessee. Now that covers all the top five most popular suburbs here in the Nashville area. And I hope this video helped. Like I said, we're going to be going into more detail on every single suburb so you can get a really good feel for each specific suburb. If one caught your eye um, and you wanna go into more detail on that, obviously check those videos out on our channel and we'll be happy to help you. Even if th there's a suburb that didn't make it on this list that you've heard about and you're looking to move here, then just text us, hit us up, call us, email us, and we'd be happy to help you. Um, and we'll actually just make a video on that as well. So we're here to answer your questions. We're here to help you. Um, we love helping our clients relocate to the area and we love to meet you. So feel free, don't be shy, reach out, and you can actually schedule a Zoom um, call with us in the description. Just click that Zoom link and we'll be able to schedule a call so we can meet you and help you find the exact area that's gonna be perfect for you and your family when moving to the Nashville area. Now, once again, I'm Brandon Johns and I hope this video helped. And if it did, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like it, and also tap that notification bell so that way you get notified on all things Middle Tennessee real estate and more videos like this. We wanna keep you in the know when you're looking to move here, so that's what we're here to do. Now, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.